Hey, this is Jay with Sacred Gaming, bringing you a guide on how to pick up the Sleeper Stimulant, the new exotic heavy weapon from the Taken King in Destiny. Now, on October 7th, this mission on the planet Earth actually became available, and this is what actually starts this whole quest. So the first firewall, that's the mission that you want to look at. You're going to go ahead and launch it. Now, I'm not going to show you everything, but I will show you at the end. You're going to come into this room, and this is kind of important. You're going to get a series of four spawns. These knights right here are going to spawn four times and actually the type of knights determines the code that you're going to enter in. Now you don't have to actually worry about this. I'm going to show you all four codes that you need to enter in but just wanted to kind of explain that. You can see them spawning in right here. We've got the regular hive knights and the taken knights and the order of them actually determined that code but just go ahead and mow them down. As you can see they're not too hard to actually take care of. I think I'm light level 301 right here, so it might be a little bit more difficult if you're a little bit lower, but I'm sure you're not gonna have any problems. But after you get all four of those waves, then you're gonna get this big guy, what is his name, Kandorak? Probably Candy for short. But as you can see, you know, you're not gonna have a hard time taking this guy out. I think it took me seven rocket launcher hits and he was down and then everything despawned. So don't even worry about engaging all the little guys. Just focus fire on him, pop your heavy cake and just take him down and that's it. Now, as soon as he dies, he's gonna actually drop this curious transceiver and this is where you're gonna enter in all the code. So there it is right there. Uh, you can see curious transceiver on the middle right there. You're gonna go into your inventory, press Y to input a passcode, at least Y on the Xbox, and then you're gonna input this code right here. So it's up, down, up, up, down, down, um, down, up, down. And if you didn't catch that, I'm gonna have this here for you again. But you're gonna input that, then you're gonna input the second code, third code, and the fourth code. And here are all four codes. You can pause the video right here, take a screenshot, and you'll have them to good to go. Now, after you do the fourth one, that's gonna go ahead and open up another mission. This is Shadow Call. This is basically Cade's stash mission, but you're gonna spawn right here, and this is time, so you wanna be careful. Just run through all this. Don't bother fighting everything. You've got four minutes, and as you can see, you can just mow your way through here. I was doing this, and I didn't really understand that you couldn't, didn't have to engage anything, so I didn't end up killing a couple things, but you can actually just run through everything just like you normally would on that Cade's stash mission. And you'll go up the lift. I think that's right around here. Um, as you come into here and go in here, like I said, not too shabby. Go up the lift right here. Pop a heavy cake. It's going to help you out. Also popped a three of coins. Didn't end up getting anything. But you'll pick up that chest right there, which doesn't seem to do anything. And then everything is going to spawn in. You're going to get these uh, three or four wizards that you need to take out. So basically two rockets ended up taking all these things out. If you got a heavy machine gun, that's going to work as well. But after you end up taking all of them out, that's when you're going to get the uh, Aikilos fusion core. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But when you look at that, you're going to notice that there's five things that you need to do. So press Y to repair it. And you've got this one, ionized shell harmonics. That's where you go to the archive mission on Venus and complete that. Heavy power coupling. That All you have to do is dismantle a, a legendary heavy weapon. And then you're going to have three war sets that you're going to need to do on the moon, Earth, and Mars. So here we are completing the archive mission. As you can see, you got that ionized shell harmonic. Then you can go into it and just press A on that or whatever it is on the PS4 or whatever system that you're doing. As you can see, I had already dismantled my legendary heavy weapon. But then you're going to want to do the war sets, defend war set, public events on Earth, Mars, and the Moon. It does not matter what order that you do them in or it doesn't matter where you do them at. Just complete three defend the war set missions on the different planets and you're going to get the uh, Plasma Confinement Control Module 1, 2, and 3. So the Moon was the last one that I did. I actually did Mars, Moon, uh, and then Earth. Or I'm sorry, Mars, Earth, and the Moon. Then you're just going to hit those three things on there and then reactivate the core press A on that and then you're going to actually take that back to the tower talk to Banshee 44 and is that his name Banshee 44 but after you do that then you're going to turn it in and then that's it for that day all right and I wasn't sure what was going to happen but woke up my friends told me hey you can complete this so got on at my lunchtime 
You're going to go back to Banshee 44. He's going to have another mission for you, another quest to do, and that's going to start the last part of that. So this quest is basically taking on the Fallen Saber, so you just want to go to it. And uh, after you go to it, after you complete that by killing the Fallen Saber, then you're going to actually basically be done with this quest. So here we are taking him out. This will actually match make for you so you don't have to worry about going in the solo. You'll go in there and it'll pair you up with a couple people and hopefully get some good teammates to do it because that Warsat part at the beginning, man, that is a little bit rough. But there you can see it. We've got the sleeper stimulant weapon frame. We're going to take that back to Banshee 44. And he's actually going to give you the weapon. That's it. Pretty easy quest to get this weapon. Kind of has me concerned. You know, I'm wondering how good it's going to be when the quest is this easy. But I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay in PvE. I didn't have a chance to use it in PvP. As you notice too, I did get some gunsmith experience for doing this. But uh, let me rank it up here right now. As you know, you can use Motes of Light to rank up weapons and armor and everything like that. It makes it really easy to do this. But you can see the perks. You got hip fire. Speed Reload, Custom Optics, Injection Mold, and uh, I think I went with uh, Injection Mold for this. And then, of course, the Activate Aikilos, and this is what makes it ricochet and is supposedly really good. Now, let me know if you've had a chance to use this. People are saying that this is going to be the next G-Horn. Uh, with the little bit that I did use it, it did not feel like the next G-Horn. But let me know. You know, I haven't had a chance to use it in a lot of the circumstances. But there you can see my sniper rifle was doing about 9,000 damage. And this was doing about 7,000 damage or 17,000 damage. And you can see how it ricochets. Now, I don't know if I managed to hit anything. I'm actually going to show you a screenshot of it actually ricocheting so you can see that. But there is the ricochet all over there. Like I said, I don't know if it managed to hit anything else, but there's some cool potential there. And I'm excited to see how some people are going to end up using this. But there we're doing 24 damage with the uh, buff on right there. So it seems like it hits pretty hard. I don't know if that ricochet is going to be all that useful, but I'm excited to see that. But let me know what you guys think about this if you've had a chance to pick it up. If you haven't, or this video helps you in doing that, I would really appreciate it if you give this a thumbs up. But that's where I'm going to end it. As always, take care and God bless.